one from JJ Hat Center. These are uh, felt bodies that we use in uh, making hats. Basically all of these different hats, no matter what size they're brown, no matter what shape it is, they're all made from the same piece of felt, usually a, a body like this. They can start out very, very, very thick, if you notice how thick this is. That is super thick. You sand them down, or you compress them. You weigh them down so that they become really dense and thin. Or you sand them, or you do both, you know? But they start off super, super thick. I wish you could see how thick these things are. Like four times the thickness of a cowboy hat, or maybe more, six times. So, yeah, you all start from either that or what they call a hood, which is the same thing, just a smaller felt body. It's kind of a maybe a lampshade shape hood. Yeah, the bodies are basically all the same. You just cut the brim down to make sure. Anyway, then you got blocks. This is a brim block. Basically, it goes like that. That's how you make the curve of the brim. Curve of the brim is like that, you know. Two pieces. Crown goes in there, upside down like that there. And we'll fix the, uh, the flange here. You can use one of these. If you don't use a little stand underneath it, your crown is going to bang into the floor, so it's got to be elevated. So that's that's your two pieces there. All right. What else you got here? You got your kettle curls, which are, oh, that's my feather, let me take that. Your kettle curls are little, uh, little tiny irons that you make edges with, rolled edges. Where are those little irons? Uh, those are hiding right now. Kettles, kettles. Uh, any kettle curls here? No, this is a hat stretcher. This one works. The lights, and, you know, the, the heats up. We use that. It's a big weight. It's a, it's a tremendous sandbag. Uh, that, you put that down to, you know, to block hats. After you put it in a block, you just put that weight down. You just lower it. It's a huge device. device. It's kind of like when you glue wood and you clamp it. Same thing. It's like clamping a hat. That is a huge, huge microwave oven. I mean, just tremendous. It's like maybe six, eight times bigger than a regular microwave. And that's how you dry stuff, dry felts. It's kind of like a convection oven. Uh, sewing machines, sweatbands, sewing machines. Special ones. This is old stuff here. Old paddles. We have 300 uh, old European ladies between the ages of 80 and 140 who come here and they sit in these chairs, about 300. This room actually sits about 3,000 ladies, but that's just a small morning shift. Nah, no, I'm kidding. Just the uh, van, one guy uses this here. And that's a funky room where he stores lots of felt and stuff. Different threads, thousands of threads, thousands. You got many, many blocks in here. Band blocks, that's like the sweat band. It goes between the, uh, the, the brim and the crown. That's a flat crown, making a flat crown right there. Like that, flat. There's a lot of uh, crown blocks. Victorian, Edwardian, lots of strange shapes. There's a, a beret block right there. It's a beret. It's a really strange one up there. A lot of blocks here. A couple of mine hats. Okay, I'll use hats. They're both mine. Some hat being flanged and the flat weight on it and stuff over there. Some more brim blocks there. We store them. More brims. Okay, that's 
look at some ribbons. The ribbon drawers are a mess, but there's just thousands and thousands of French ribbons in here, you know. Just, just tons and tons of them. And they're, most of them are antique, vintage, you know, super old, old French. We bought, you know, these huge, like, estate sales. Some of them are oxidized in really cool ways. They faded, which is definitely something you want. Other ones are not faded. That's a drawer. It's the walk in the wild side of the drawer. It's like all colorful stuff. So, gotcha. Yeah, these are really messy, but there's just thousands of, of choices. This is just a few drawers. Oh, these are some hand embroidered things from the 20s. Hand embroidered. Get the idea, guys. That's cool, right? That's nice program. Beautiful. Some leather. Some leather. There's one project somebody wanted that stuff. I had to go to the trimming shop. These are Borsellino bands, which are pretty much impossible to get. We only put these on actual Borsellino hats. It's not really. I don't want to stick with them on other hats. People would think it's like a bootleg porcelain hat, so we just never do that. These are only available to retrofit old porcelain hats. They have every single color and width that they make. We're definitely the only ones who have that. It's our half price, yeah. This stuff we put up every week. New things that are just discontinued colors and styles, all half price. Brand new berets that just came out, and these cool, funky beret boxes. There's some new, like, high fashion, amazing things from this uh, company. Straight from Paris, this one's got pearls on it. These are pearls. The old pearls are not, but. Types. They're not even marked in a, on display yet. Anyway, JJ Hat Center's workshop. Just a quick tour. New band blocks. That's an old cat, JJ. You can see cat head in there if there was one. Here. 